the reality is most of us are gonna have some pretty dirty floor mats. We get in and out of the car every single day. It might be raining, it's muddy, you might spill some food or drinks on the floor mats. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your floor mats using two methods. The method number one is gonna be the professional full-on method where we're using $1,800 worth of tools and products to get the job done. And then the second method on the passenger floor mat is gonna be the more beginner level, entry level way of cleaning your floor mats using maybe $80 worth of tools and products. The point of this video is to show you like a dramatic before and after. It's more so just to show you the difference of, hey, if you wanna go the full process and buy all the tools and products, this is how you do it. If you wanna keep it simple and keep it straightforward, this is how you can clean your floor mats using some very entry level tools and products. We're first gonna start off with the driver floor mat. Here I'm using the Adams polishes, a heated extractor. We have an air compressor with a tornado gun uh, connected to it. We have a DeWalt carless drill with a toilet brush attachment with an agitation attachment. And then we have our carpet free spray uh, in this IK pump sprayer. And then off camera, I have the vacuum. Um, so first I'm gonna go ahead and blow the debris off the floor mat using our tornado cleaning gun. Because there's a lot of debris in these fibers, I'm also gonna use this brush attachment to try to just lift up more debris out of the floor mat. Next, it's time to vacuum it all up. Next, we're gonna switch out the toilet brush attachment and we're gonna put our agitation attachment here. We have the uh, carpet pre spray, spray diluted in this pump sprayer. We're gonna pump it up. And spray the surface. Next, we're gonna get our brush and start to agitate. Now that we have that out the way, the last step is to actually shampoo or extract the floor mat. We're gonna be using this heated extractor and we can see all the gunk being pulled out through this clear wand. And now that the floor mats are shampooed, I also went and did a dry pass, trying to just get any, trying to get any other moisture or, or liquid out of the floor mat so it can dry faster. Next, we're gonna take our towel and simply just mop it down. Again, just to try to get more of the excess uh, cleaner and water out of the floor mat. Now it's not like damp or like super wet by any means, but it just kind of to help the, the drying process move faster. Now it's gonna look better right now because it is damp, but this is a completed uh, floor mat right here. And it does help to brush everything to one side. So we'll brush everything down like that. And this is now done. Now let's move on to the beginner style cleaning. I have my vacuum, my spray bottle, my tire brush, and a towel. Again, most of the links will be down in the description box down below. So for starters, 
if your floor mat was worse and there was more grime and debris on there, one thing that you do is take your brush and simply like brush off as much as you can. Uh, you wanna loosen up those fibers, that way the dirt and debris can get out easier. So literally take whatever brush and just literally brush it. Once that's done, you can go in and vacuum everything else. Depending on how much debris is in your interior, you might wanna be there and just make sure you're doing a thorough job. Next comes the fun part, and this is where we're gonna spray our cleaner onto the floor mat. Here, I'm using an all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to one. You can go to any AutoZone or O'Reilly's and buy some form of carpet cleaner, and that's gonna work perfectly fine. So all we're gonna do is literally spray our cleaner onto the floor mat. And then we're gonna take our brush, and this is where the, the elbow grease comes into play and we're simply gonna do this for the entire duration of this floor mat. We are just gonna manually agitate. Now, depending on how big your floor mat or how dirty it is, it definitely helps to work in sections. So kind of break off your floor mat into quarters, right? That way it's, it's, it's easily, you can easily manage it um, and not get so tired of doing these long strokes. So all you're gonna do is literally start to agitate. This quarter's done, let's go to this one. We'll spray a bit more here. And then the last section. Lastly, we're gonna take our towel and instead of using like an extractor, the shamp to extract everything out, we're gonna use our towel. Or if you also want, if you have a wet dry vac like we have here, you can actually vacuum all that out as well. What you're gonna see is that we're actually gonna pull out a lot of dirt. As you can see there, that's very dirty. And again, there we go. That's all the dirt that we're pulling out from the floor mat. Now, you can keep on repeating this process over and over, just again, depends on the condition of your floor mat and how you wanna get it. But overall, I would say like we're pretty good right there. Um, it's looking a lot better. Again, brush everything to one way. And that is your completed floor mat with the more basic tools and products. And that's gonna wrap up the floor mat cleaning. Again, it wasn't to say one is better than the other. I just wanted to show you the two methods you can do based on you know, what you have around your house or if you wanna go and start spending you know, money on the more uh, fancier tools and products. Either way, if you know what you're doing, if you spend the proper time, you can get great results. Like, is this one cleaner? Yes, just because you're actually pulling out the dirt from the floor mat. But this one looks just as clean because we still cleaned it and still pulled out a lot of dirt. So don't think there's one better than the other. It's just which one best fits what you're trying to do. I'll end the video right here. You can check the links down in the description box. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.